Hi and welcome to RC Models and this the third in this series on the conversion to RC of the Bruder Telehandler. In this first build video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be unboxing the model, disassembling it and talking about the 3D parts and the printing of those parts which I made in the development of the model. Without further ado let's just do the unboxing. Taking apart is going to be fairly simple and the key thing is to kind of do it quite carefully and make sure that you don't lose any of the parts because you're going to need most of it later. I think that if there was a top tip for all of this I would say it's to take your time and enjoy doing it. There's absolutely no rush and the more careful you are the more likely everything is to work first time. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the bottom by removing the chassis plate from the upper body. Now, what I did find with the prototype that I built was that I actually only really needed the tabs which are holding it underneath the driver's cab for the thing to clip together, that's really all that it needs. And actually it was a bit of a nuisance when I did have some of the other tabs still attached because it made it hard to get apart while I was testing it while I was building it. Sometimes the Bruder models are really hard to get apart but actually this one isn't too bad because it's got tabs that you can actually get to and most of the work can either be done with a screwdriver or one of these little picks. Actually I think I'll use, just use a screwdriver you ought to be able to see what I've done. So let's just get the first one out. So you get your screwdriver behind the little black tab there, get it in and you push it right back so that the yellow tab here will just be able to lift out. So there's one there. And the tricky bit sometimes is just getting it between the yellow, the yellow tab and the black tab. one there giving it a good bend back doesn't matter if it snaps because you aren't going to be wanting to reuse it one here so far they haven't snapped but if they did it really wouldn't matter so we've now got this side released the the next tab we need to do is up in here That one's released and then we've just got the two ends to deal with I think. So we've got one in here which is fairly easy to get to. One up at the front so that's the front looking like it's going to come off and I think the hardest ones are probably going to be the ones right down here in the back and I think that the way that I probably did those was to use this which is a little woodworking chisel and actually carve off the triangular part of the yellow tabs down there inside because it's just going to be too difficult to get to the black tabs. So using this sort of chisel piece here, 
and if you chop those, you can't see down inside the hole. So I'll do it, then I'll show you afterwards what it looks like. One, and then I'll just then I'll just do the other one. That's that, and hopefully now I can get to the little black tabs in there. That's one. That's two. And we have one more black tab in there which is quite hard to see so I'll just So I'll just pull that one out. So now we've got all of the tabs freed, so there's one there, one there, one here, one here, one here, there, inside there, and then the two at the back. And let's just see if it'll come apart. So lift you up the back, separating the front. And there we have it, the first stage of the disassembly. You can see here how the steering mechanism actually works as well. So let's just put those parts to one side for a moment. Before I go any further, I'll just show you what ended up happening when I was pushing this chisel down inside. I was actually slicing off pieces of this plastic here so that I was able to get to these tabs from the other side and bend them outwards. It is worth at this stage taking some of the top piece apart because it makes it much easier to work on the model. So while we're in disassembly mode, let's just do that. So these, these grey bits really all need to come out. So let's start by removing those. First one here, the steering knob, that definitely needs to go. And the easiest way to get that out is actually to push the tabs in on this piece itself, which are on the side. It's very hard to see. I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. So these ones actually need to... Really, they should be pushing inwards. I'll see if I can. Yep, they seem to... They seem to push back in. So, <coughs> there, and then this will just come out. So what I did was I actually pushed these in, one there and one there for the inside, squashed them together, and then this came out quite easily. That's going to make it easier to get this top part off. And the Getting off of that top part, we've got a tab down the side here and we've got one here. I think that they are probably the key. So I'll just go ahead and push this tab in here. It doesn't matter if it breaks because we're going to be sawing this whole area off anyway. So I'll just push that in. So that's out of the way. And then similarly on the other side, we've got a tab down there which I think we can afford to get rid of. So, so just bending, so bending that back in a similar fashion to what we did at the bottom, and it feels like the front is getting a little bit looser. There is a tab here at the back. I'm just going to go in there with a bigger screwdriver see if that helps. That's it. So that is now all bent back. 
you want to go to all of this very very carefully because the one thing you don't want is for a screwdriver to slip and poke yourself in the finger or anything. So let's just see if that comes off. Looking hopeful. I'd say there's one more thing which is just to push this little tab back here. That's it. So we've got that piece off and this is going to be the hatch cover for the battery and the receiver which we're going to need to be able to get on and off easily when we're operating the model. Good, okay, so that's that. Next thing to think about is this arm. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wind the arm up so that I can really see what's going on. Okay, so we have a fake cylinder here. Well, that's going to need to go. And then the screw in here that winds it up and down. That's that. And we have another cylinder here, which I'm just going to chop off. I don't need these parts. And that's off easily enough. We certainly seem to be getting there in terms of the dismantling. The arm then comes off really easily. I'm going to leave this all in one piece and come back to it later because I really don't need to take this apart for a while. And this will be in one of the later build stages where we look at doing the whole arm. And probably the last thing I'd do is take off this fake exhaust stack because that is going to get in the way of what we're doing. So there's a tab there, just bend that back so that comes out fairly easily. And then there's another one here. And that's off. So that really is the first stage complete. Often with these Bruder models, taking them apart is one of the hardest things to do. So if you manage to do this, brilliant, you're well on the way to making your model. Right, I did say that I would talk briefly about the 3D prints, so let me do that for a few moments. The number of 3D printed parts I use this model actually isn't that many. So we've got a plate here that goes underneath the front steering to hold things together. We've got the four motor holders that also double up as hubs for the steering. A couple of blocks here which I use to mount the 20 kilogram servo for lifting the arm. We have a motor holder here which is used for extending the jib. And lastly we have the cylinder which has got a thread in it for the lead screw for making the arm move in and out. You'll notice that all of this is in orange and this is actually PETG and it was the filament which I used for printing the parts for my Prusa printer cabinet that you may have seen a clip of in the previous video. Now the first prototype wasn't made of PETG, it was actually made of PLA Plus and this has been perfectly fine in operation certainly showed no signs of any problems and I really don't think that you need an expensive printer printing either ABS or in this case the PETG to complete this model. All of these prints here were done on my MP Mini Delta printer which I think cost £142 from Amazon. It was really easy to set up and I don't think I spent very long at all getting used to it before I was designing and printing parts out. And I would recommend to anybody, if you're thinking about 3D printing, maybe to get one of those first to see if you actually get on with it before investing a huge sum of money. As I said in the last video, 
I have made all of these parts free for people to download and print on Thingiverse. The link is in the description for that and all of the parts which I've used to build this. However, I am prepared to print these for people. I've had to think about what I would charge and I put that information into the description below. I think that there is also the option on Thingiverse for ordering prints of things from them as well. You may prefer to do that. But if you do want me to print the parts for you, and if I do, I will use the lathe to enlarge the hole here slightly to push a piece of copper tube in which I'll glue, and I would make a hole across, thread it, and put an M3 grub screw in it as well. If you decide that you do want me to make parts for you, please email me on the link in the description. I think that that takes us to the wrap up for this first build video. I'm going to be doing all of the other stages in a great deal of detail. Obviously those who are more experienced will probably want to skip through, but I'm very keen to make this something that somebody who's never really done any of this sort of thing before can do and maybe apply to other projects. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. Please feel very free to ask me any questions or put comments in the section below. Until the next time, once again, thank you very much for watching.